I apologize, my phone shut down. So we're gonna pick up where we left off. Finger up, ready, read. Bang, bang. Ready, read. I, shy. Good job. Finger up, ready, read. Wine, wine. Finger up, ready, read. Junk, junk. Finger up, ready, read. Blonk, blonk. Finger up, ready, read. Ink, link. Okay. Let's go back. The, what are you doing? Don't do that. It said it said twenty percent, and then it closed. All right. Finger up, ready, read. Ink. Lick. Finger up. Ready. Read. J -f. J -f. Make sure you're pointing to each sound. Finger up. Ready. Read. J -f. J -j 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 -j. Right. Say it again though. J -e -j 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 -j. Finger up. Ready. Read. Which. 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 Finger up, ready, read. Okay. Finger up, ready, read. Child. Okay, do each sound. Child. Child. Very good. Finger up, ready, read. Child. Child. Finger up, ready, read. Just. Just. Finger up, ready, read. Oh, wait, let me change this. Finger up, ready, read. Lift. Finger up, ready, read. Lyled. Lyled. Very good. Okay. Now that we're finished with that, we're going to move on to our new skill, our, <coughs> our new sound. And today we have another sound for A. We already know that A says A. Ah. Ah. What else does it say? All. A. A. Today we're going to talk about A where it says all. all. Not all, just all. Say that. All. All. Watch my mouth. All. all. Almost like a short O. All. Okay? So now instead of two sounds, A has three sounds. A says a, it a. says its name A, and now it says all. all. So to practice our key word, which goes with this sound, which is ball, I want you to bounce the ball, and as you're bouncing, say the sound, all. Okay. All. Okay, do that three or four times. All. 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 One more time. Very good. All right. This video has a lot of glitches. I do apologize. Okay, the next thing that we're going to do is we are going to do dictation. So I'm going to call out the word to you. You're going to pound the word, and then you're going to write the word. Okay? All right. I want you to use a pen today. Okay. A. Pounder ready. Pencil up. Pen. We'll pen up. First word. Call. P pound. Call. C all. Call. Okay, do that one more time. Call. Call. C all. Very good. Right. All right, pencil up, pounder ready. Next word, haul. Pound, haul. 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 Okay, right. Pencil up, pounder ready. Pen up. Pen up, pounder ready. 
Next word, ball. Pound. Ball. All. Ball. Pin up. Pound already. Next word, salt. Ready? Pound. Salt. Salt, salt. Pencil up, pound already. Next word, fall. Ready, pound. Fall. All, fall. Make sure you say it down crisp. Pencil up, pound already. Next word, mall. Ready? Pound. Mall. All. Mall. Okay, let's do that again. Ready? Pound. Pound first and then you write. Stop trying to do both. Ready? Pound. Mall. Mall. Mm. All. Ooh, very good. All right, last word. Pencil up. Pound already. Stall. Ready? Pound. Stall. Stall. Very good. Right? Good job. All right, let's look at the clean copy. Ready? Read. Call, ball, haul, salt, fall, mall, and stall. Very good. Let's move on to our sentences. You can do that below. Remember, you're gonna pound each syllable that you hear. Okay. Okay? Listen twice before you start. Okay. Do not let that small child fall. Do not let that small child fall. Pound her up. Ready, pound. Do not let that small child fall. Very good. You may write. Don't forget to punctuate. Pencil up, pound already. Is all of the chalk in the hall? Is all of the chalk in the hall? Ready? Pound. Is all the chalk in the hall? Okay, listen one more time. Is all of the chalk in the hall? Ready? Pound. Is all of the chalk in the hall? Okay. Okay, pencil up, pound already. She is pitching that ball very fast. She is pitching that ball very fast. Pound. She is pitching that ball really fast. Okay, wait. She is pitching that ball very fast. Pound. She is pitching that ball really fast. Okay, listen to me. She is pitching that ball very fast. And remember when you pound, you're pounding each syllable, not each word. She is, okay. how many sounds are in pitching? How many syllables? Pitching that ball very fast. All right, ready? She, pound. She is pitching. Okay. 
Come on, let's do it together. Ready? Pound. She is pitching. That's two. Now you try it. She is pitching. That ball. That ball. Very. Very fast. Okay. Go ahead and write. I noticed that you have capitalization and punctuation on all of your sentences this time. Good job. All right, let's read our clean copy. Read number one for me. Do not let that small child fall. Number two. Is all of the chalk in the hall. Number three. She is pitching that ball very fast. Very good, Corbin. All right, you are completely finished with your part. Now I'm going to move on to my part. And I'm going to be doing the syllabication part. By herself. By myself, yes. See you guys later. Okay. Hopefully you can see the words. I'm just gonna talk through it as I do it. That will be better. The first word is began. I'm going to find my vowels, underline them. So I'm going to underline the E and the A, label them with a V, draw a bridge, label my consonant. This is a VCV pattern, so I'm going to divide after the E with a dotted line. That would make the first syllable open the second syllable closed. So I'm gonna read it now, began, began. That makes sense. So I'm gonna leave that that way and draw that line. The second word is menu. I'm gonna underline the E and the U, label them with the V, draw my bridge, label my consonant with the C. Again, I have a VCV pattern I'm going to draw my dotted line after the E. That would make that syllable open. The second syllable also ends with a vowel, so that would make it open as well. So I'm gonna read it like that. It would read me new, me new. That doesn't sound right. So I'm going to divide after the N which would make the syllable now closed, men you, men you. So my first syllable would be closed, my second syllable would be open, men you. My next word is talent. I'm going to underline the vowels A and E, label them with a V, draw a bridge, label my consonant L with a C. I have a VCV pattern. I'm going to draw a dotted line after the A, that would make the first syllable open, the second syllable closed. Talent, talent. Hmm, that doesn't sound right. So I'm going to divide after the consonant. Now my first syllable is closed and would make the word talent, talent. That sounds right. The next word, I'm gonna find the vowels, which are O and U. Label them with a V, draw a bridge, label my consonant D with a C. I have a VCV pattern, so I will draw a dotted line after the O. The first syllable would be open, the second syllable would be closed. Product, product. That doesn't sound right. So I'm going to now divide after the D. That would make my first syllable closed and my second syllable closed. Product. That sounds right. Moving on to my next word. I'm going to underline my A and my I. Draw a bridge. We'll label them with a V. Draw a bridge. 
I'm going to label my consonant T with a C. I have a VCV pattern, so I'm going to draw my dotted line after the A. That would make the first syllable open, the second syllable closed. So that would be static, static. Never heard of static. So I would then divide after the T. That would make my first syllable closed. So then it would be static, static. That makes sense. The next word, I would label my, underline my vowels. I have two E's. Draw a V under each one. Draw a bridge. Label the L with a C for consonant. I would divide after the E since I have a VCV pattern. That would make the first syllable open, the second syllable closed. The word would be elect. Elect, elect. That makes sense. You elect the president. The next word, I will underline my vowels, label them with a V, draw a bridge, label my consonant T with a C, draw a dotted line after the V since I have a VCV pattern. I will then label the first syllable as open, the second syllable as closed. Protect, protect, protect. That sounds right, protect. And the last word, I'm going to underline my vowels, I and U, label them with a V, draw a bridge, label my consonant N with a C, divide with a dotted line after the I, that would be an open syllable for the first one and a closed syllable for the second. So I would have sinus, sinus. That makes sense. And that concludes that portion.